What is going on guys? So today I wanted to do a short video to kind of go over the Oaken Soul Mythic item, kind of talk about it and provide my thoughts and feedback on it. So I specifically made a werewolf build and I think this will be one of the best werewolf builds coming out in the next patch. Uh, it looks like something I'm going to be trying and testing uh, overall, but we're going to kind of my thoughts on the Oaken Soul Mythic and then we're going to kind of the werewolf setup. Um, that I'm looking at and potential other setups that I'm looking at as well, especially for one bar sorks That was pretty nasty. I gotta be real But before we get started if you guys are newer to pvp, I created the ESO Academy discord server It is designed as a resource to either help you start or improve at pvp in ESO We have several hundreds of members that are growing by the day. We would love to have you join It doesn't matter your experience or skill level. We are here to help if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link down in the description below. If you're looking for written guides for builds, check out my website at therealgodzilla.com. Do all the YouTube stuff, like this video, subscribe and comment. And with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So first things first, let's talk about Oaken Soul and will it be a meta mythic item? I think for bombing and ganking, it could be very good, especially with the changes that I got to like, I guess this is week four of the PTS. So the main thing here is Major Berserk, Major Courage, and it also got all of the Brutality buffs, the Sorcery buff, the Prophecy and Savagery. It got Major Force as well, which is 20% critical damage increase. Major Resolve, Minor Intellect, Fortitude, uh, and Endurance, and Major Heroism. So I think this Mythic is designed for solo play. I mean, there's just no doubt about it. This is one of the best mythics you can run if you don't really care about surviving too much and don't really need two bars. Uh, I'm looking at running this, like I said, on bombers and gankers, uh, one bar snipe builds, one bar bomb builds with plague break and vicious death and just gonna go AOE nuke it with this because you're just going for that initial punch and you're gonna get major berserk, which is gonna be 10% damage increase. You got uh, major courage, which is 430, I wanna say right around there. Uh, you have the major force as well. All of that is going to be just insane extra damage in a more stand-up type of environment in PvP. I don't see I don't see this taking over uh, to any degree. The, the first week of the PTS, I tested my stamina night blade. It was strong, uh, but it was only really for duels, and I think that that is more more or less a meme kind of setup uh, rather than an actual viable setup that you're going to really see a lot of in PvP. But one thing. <laughs> that we will see a lot of is werewolves and this is where the most impact is going to be felt right now i've kind of delved into theory crafting some werewolf builds and from what i've seen so far werewolves are going to use gaze of sithis or they're going to use oaken soul that's probably the two best ones but they also may use the new shapeshifters i don't have it on me let me let me pull it out so i can kind of explain it to you guys so the uh shapeshifters looks pretty good honestly because they change this around to reduce the cost of werewolf abilities by 15%. We all know how expensive werewolf's abilities are, and this is gonna give you the extra max stats. So I think this is actually gonna be really good because you can go more into damage now rather than sustain, but this will be something we'll have to test uh, over the next few weeks and kind of see what we like. But as it says right now, I'm looking at running Eternal Vigor and Oaken Soul with Alessian. I think this is gonna be the best setup or really the werewolf for solo play. Uh, even in group play, this is probably gonna be absolutely disgusting because we have so much mitigation. The health recovery is actually pretty nice. Uh, and we'll kind of go over it, kind of why I'm thinking this. So at first I was looking at Wretched Vitality. You're gonna get more sustain from this. However, I really like the health recovery while in werewolf form. When I was testing this in some duels, the health recovery really helped a lot. I know health recovery has been nerfed over time. And I know my damage is not going to be necessarily the highest, but we still have a decent kind of tooltip stats in werewolf form. So this is my base stats. Just chilling here. Uh, we have a, a ton of health recovery whenever we proc our, our um, Eternal Vigor as well. So it doesn't seem like our health recovery is too high, but 1600 health recovery is not mitigated by Battle Spirit anymore. It was nerfed already by 50% in PvP anyways. So this is just going to go if you are at 40,000 health after two seconds, you're going to get uh 41,600 health is what your health is going to be at i know it doesn't sound like a lot but if you have got health recovery ticking over time and your only main burst heal in werewolf form is the hero's fiend's fortitude which scales off maximum health it doesn't get any type of healing over time or anything like that makes it kind of 
Like, you have to rely on health recovery and this burst heal. And that's really what's going to uh, make the difference for your overall survivability. So if we look at just our stats here, this is just coming into werewolf form. We got 45k health, 24k stamina. Our damage is not terrible. Our damage is not bad, but it's nothing crazy either. We have a 12k howl of agony, uh, but our tooltip... <laughs> Our tooltip here seems fortitude is 22,000. Other sets that I'm looking at, if I don't go with a health recovery spec, if I don't like it, if I don't like how much damage we have, if I want to go a little bit more damage, what I'm probably going to end up doing is trying stoons. However, I do want to talk about this. The off balance from the werewolf skill does not work right now on the PTS. I got in contact with Gina and they are supposed to be fixing this and she passed it along to the people. But Deafening Roar does not proc off balance right now. I'll show you guys real quick what I'm talking about. Uh, and then we'll go into a few other sets. And then we'll go into kind of more of my thoughts. I hit my ultimate, please. Jeez. So if I hit this, it's supposed to proc off balance. Okay. But there's no off balance icon that pops up. I have all my damage numbers on and all that jazz. Um, if I go out of werewolf form real quick and I'll show you off balance does work. Because I know it does work get behind the stupid thing the off balance does work see so off balance does not work on the npcs from the de from the whatever you skill you call that a uh, deafening roar, roar on the werewolf so other sets that i am looking at on this type of build if i don't go with health recovery and once they fix tunes i think tunes will be definitely an, an option to try uh, for more of a group play build i'm thinking like trial by fire essence thief Something like that. Pariah, Essence Thief, Pariah Stoons. Something to give me a little bit of damage, but I'm still probably going to focus a lot into HP. I really think that... I know my max damage isn't crazy, but I I, I think having a bigger health pool is going to be the best way to go about Werewolf. Even if you're running a high damage Werewolf build with Essence Thief and Pariah or Trial by Fire, or whatever the case is, I still think that having just just putting 64 points of health is pretty much necessary for your overall survivability um since we are using smoke bear we have a decent amount of recovery with the lord mundestone i may if i go for something like smoked bear with like essence thief and trial by fire i may go with the hnonk mundestone rather than the lord to give a little bit more magic recovery because in, in werewolf form you're really just going to be heavy attacking constantly anyways uh, and then it'll just be, have to be something I'll have to test and try over time to kind of see what I like and see what kind of works best for me. So another set I do want to talk about is called the Sinchal Defender. So this is actually probably one of one of the better sets for Werewolf out there. Because this is going to give us, whenever we deal non-heavy attack damage, that's going to apply to our light attacks and whatnot. And we can get that once every 10 seconds. Whenever we fully charge heavy attack, we're going to get 7,570 resources back in both Magicka and Stamina, which is pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie. And this doesn't look like it has a cooldown on it at all. So you can pretty much in 10 seconds, you can get 7,500 resources back. And I think that you can go with this on your body set. So replacing Alessian and then going like, Essence Thief or going stoons or something of that nature is going to give you a lot of extra sustain from Central Defender and then you're going to have your damage from Stoon and you probably could get by with Sugar Skulls going that route. I have not tested it personally. I don't know how it'll work, but I think there's definitely an option with Tripods as well to kind of keep your sustain up with the Central Defender giving you that big old 7,000 resources back uh, every 10 seconds if you can stay offensive and do that fully charged heavy attack. Which Werewolf Heavy Attacks already give you a lot of resources back anyways. So, yeah. And we're also probably going to be in 5 to 7 Heavy uh, with the Central Defender as well. So that overall just carries over to more of Werewolf as kind of more of a tank and, and a war of attrition of just running you out of resources and being the one that always has resources and just pressuring your opponent. That's just some ideas I have. There's obviously other sets that I can't mention in this video because you guys know on my channel... I don't give you guys bad build advice. I don't give you guys trash sets to use. I always talk about the best of the best uh, gear that you can use on your characters. Uh, I will say in 1v1s, this is like more of an unkillable build. It's not going to really kill anything. But I think whenever you get a, eventually, if you get into a, a wolf pack of multiple people, that's where this is really going to shine the most. 
So my recovery is great. 1700 mag recovery, 1900 stamina recovery. We got the uh, Lord Mundestone on for getting extra health. And yeah, so we're just stacking health. And this is just solo buff stats. You know, we're not running anything crazy. We got no extra buffs for anybody else. We're just all by ourselves with, with these stats. Now, what's, what's interesting about the CP is what I do like. And I may could eventually get away from Eternal Vigor, which I do like. But we could possibly drop it. Uh, with this new thing, the thing that I noticed here with the refreshing stride, or sprinting, we're gonna gain 500 extra magic recovery. If I spam this skill and run completely out of magic, and I start sprinting, look how fast my magic comes back. We're like 50% magic already. So if you just sprint for a little bit, heal, sprint for a little bit, heal, you can really get some some really good crit heals. Um, and you can keep that recovery up and also increases our health recovery as well. So if we're getting pressured a lot, remember that Eternal Vigor is going to give us that extra 1,000 health recovery over at lower health. That's where this is really going to shine, in my opinion. But if you really want to prioritize health recovery, obviously you're going to go with Gaze of Sithis over Oaken Soul. Oaken Soul is going to provide you the most damage, but that Gaze of Sithis is going to get you the most mitigation health recovery and armor which is going to scale very nicely with your alessian we're right at cap of alessian so there's really no extra reason to go much higher the resistances than what we have um so yeah that is really kind of my idea on werewolf right now like i said in duels the damage really wasn't crazy but i think again you don't play werewolf by yourself and that's just facts um I think this werewolf will definitely be a menacing thing, and I'm definitely going to play it next patch. Um, I've came to a realization I just like to would like to have fun every now and then, and like to do some PvP and just mess around with some different things that I'm, you know, not normally used to playing or trying. Um, so I'm definitely going to be trying out this build uh, next patch, and as why as like I'm not scared about releasing this or anything like that, because I got to be honest, this is strong, but it's not broken, and I want people to really take that from this video is this is strong but it's not broken yes we get major berserk major courage which is nice but we're really sacrificing a lot losing those extra max stats that this did provide i think that made it more balanced because if you're getting extra 3000 health magic and stamina like i was before it was completely obnoxious and was so much more powerful than it is right now but having this extra damage the berserk the courage definitely helps with your damage but as you can see our, our, our stats aren't like crazy like we don't got like insane weapon damage like we did before this is our stats. It's nothing obnoxiously crazy. Definitely is strong, like I said, but it's nothing like it was before. Um, and, I, and I think that it was overall a fair balance adjustment. Uh, I guess I can't feed on that thing. But it was an overall fair balance adjustment to make it to give you uh, the extra, like the buffs, the major and minor buffs. Because having the unique buffs, buffs made it to where you could stack... You know, if you wanted to, you could stack major, major resolve, and you could also stack the extra armor that this skill provided. This is just overall more balanced. It's, it's best for solo play, and that's really what it's designed to do. Uh, I think this will definitely be a strong mythic item, and it will be used a little bit in PvP. One bar bombers, but those are going to be probably even stronger than werewolf. I have to say, I'll be testing it, but it's just really hard to say exactly how much better that that will be because it's going to be specifically designed to just nuke some people and die in die in like two hits right uh because if you go into a soul tether with plague break with the new occult overload cp slottable I, I gotta say that that is actually more scary to me than a werewolf by itself uh, because a bomber can kill 10 15 people in in two seconds with a soul tether this werewolf is more or less a tank if i'm being honest because this is kind of how you have to build a werewolf to even survive. Because your main burst here, like I said, is the Hero Scenes Fortitude. And you really got to sacrifice a lot. Like, we have to put all of our points into health for us to be able to survive. And 1v1s, obviously, you can get by with a few different things and run a little bit less uh, into max health. But for regular PvP, if you go out here with a full damage werewolf build by yourself, you're going to get freaking creamed in two seconds. It doesn't matter if you're running Oaken Soul or not. Uh, right now, you, you're just not gonna be able to survive long enough if you're playing like solo by yourself. But in a group play, that's a completely different story. How how tanky you can be and how much damage you can be, which is a pack of werewolves. So let me go into my final thoughts about Oaken Soul. I think this mythic 
the way it is right now as week four of the PTS is strong, but it's not overpowered and broken like it was in the week one of the PTS. Week three, last week, it was garbage. Nobody was going to use it. But at least week four, now it's usable. It's not terrible, but they did do some good adjustments in my opinion. The way it was week one and week two, it was absolutely busted broken. There'd be no reason not to run a one bar build in PvE. And in PvP with, with werewolves, it was just absolutely insane. The reason why it's better now is because those were unique buffs that used to give you, you know, 450 recovery, uh, 450 weapon damage, all that jazz, uh, 2700 critical chance or whatever it was. I don't even remember now because it was just busted. But that was unique buffs, and those are going to stack with other major buffs as well. The fact that it's now just major buffs rather than unique buffs makes it a lot more balanced than it was before. It's something I want to talk about that people are going to ask. Is it broken with werewolves? And I want to say no. I think there is more issues and problems with werewolf as it is currently than just with Oak and Soul. Because werewolf, in all seriousness, if you have four or five or six, seven werewolves coming at you, that is broken. There is something inherently wrong with that, that you don't have to have Oak and Soul for that to be powerful, right? But... With Oak and Soul on top of it, sure, it may be a little bit better, but it's not going to make a lick of difference anyways. They could all be running Gaze of Sithis. They could all be running Shapeshifters. This doesn't make a difference. You're going to die if you're going up against seven or eight werewolves. It's just the reality of the situation. They're so tanky. They have such high healing potential. And if you have five or six people hitting you with Howl of Agonies on your forehead, it's really going to hurt. So I think there's something inherently wrong with that rather than Oak and Soul. I think we need to separate the two and not put them together because werewolf and Oak and Soul go together like peanut butter and jelly. But, but peanut butter may have something wrong with it. If you're talking about werewolf, Okinso inherently is a strong mythic, but it's not broken. I think we need to separate the two when we're really talking a lot about balance. I think, again, I'm going to go back to my uh, same statement that I made just the other day about werewolf. I think 100 ultimate should give you one minute in werewolf form, and that's it, period. There should be a time limit on it rather than you can in infinitely stay in it. I think that would be a little bit better. Uh, sure, you're going to die against, against six or seven werewolves. I completely understand it, and it's super strong. I would like to see some adjustments to Hiracene's Fortitude, uh, change it based off of max health scaling so werewolves aren't tanks, and maybe do something with Calls of Life for a delayed burst or a healing over time or something like that that's better than it is currently. Because right now, there's no reason to not use uh, Defile Morph of your Claws of Anguish or whatever it's called. The Defile one. There's just no reason not to use that one over the Calls of Life because it doesn't heal you for enough. I would like to see a buff to the, the healing over time and a nerf to Hiracine's Fortitude. Personally, I think that would make Werewolf a little bit more balanced where it's not just an absolute brute of a tank that's just annoying to fight because Werewolves are only really powerful, like I said, whenever there's six or seven of them coming at you. Solo Werewolf is not that strong. And the only way a Solo Werewolf can survive, though, is stacking a lot of health, so it's pretty much a tank and you're just going to be running around spamming heals and trying to stay alive and howling out the moon. But that's in, that's the reality of the situation for PvP in, in a nutshell for Oaken Soul and the Werewolf. And, and my final thoughts on this mythic. I don't think it's broken. I think it's strong. It'll definitely have a place for a few different setups and builds like Bombers, Gankers, Snipers, and Werewolves. And in my opinion, that's pretty much it outside of memes for duels and whatnot. But that is it for me, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.